Hey guys, welcome to another Fisher Builds. This is going to wrap up the Ecto Containment Unit. This time we're going to cover the weathering. Uh, making it look like it's been here for a little while, a little bit of wear, a little bit of age. Some of the paint is chipping off, as well as some dirt and grime just to make it look like it's a used thing. A uh, couple different types of paint, different applications, uh, different strokes and methods. Just showing some exposed paint where it's actually worn down to the bare metal, as well as just some grime and some grit. So we'll go through that. And if you have any questions, post them below, but let's get started. Okay, so here's the supplies I got. Testers, black and silver, metal silver, flat black. Got some small acid brushes, they're rough. Got a couple different sizes of chip brushes, just for slopping on. Some of the paint. I got Liquitex Basics Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, and Mars Black. And you can get all this stuff on Amazon. And I just got a paper plate for kind of a palette to mix stuff. Rags, just t-shirt rags from a bag. And then I'm gonna get a little bottle of water just to dilute and mix this up a little bit. So I just put a dollop of each color on. I'm just going to add some water to dilute it down. Doesn't take much. And then a little bit of each. Get a nice kind of rusty muddy color. I'm gonna light it up, add some more of the sienna. Now when we try this, we wanna start on an area that's kinda out of view. And just kinda with a dry rag or a wet rag just to see the difference. Leave it in the crevices because you're not gonna, you know, take a Q-tip and clean that out for real. So just leave it as is. Yeah, that looks good. And it dirties up and ages up the uh, labels a little bit. I like that. It is a big area, but I'm trying to be conscientious of what I do. So I'm using a smaller brush. You don't have to go nuts, I don't have to go underneath because grease naturally isn't going to go underneath an edge. You know, just imagine a slime covered hand coming across this. You are working with water so be careful you don't want uh, electronics getting exposed to water. And anywhere you have little mishaps with paint coming off or chips, just kind of shove some of the brown in there, cover it up. Leave this on for as long as you want. Let it start drying a little bit. I would a 
Ghostbuster, who spilled grease on this, haphazardly clean it up. And then for kind of this area where it's over, we'll just get a cleaner rag, add some water to it. And then actually clean that. passes. Um, I'm decorating this side a little heavier because this faces the open room. This is where people might stand and actually view this. So I'm just, I'm kind of exaggerating this weathering. So it's there a little more. For several rags because you constantly want to try to find a clean spot. As this begins to dry, you can be a little more rough with it, kind of rub it. And same deal in here. Concentrate on the nuts just to give them a little flavor. And kind of edges. Just to make this stand off a little more. A little on the buttons, somebody touch this. This big area, and I'm going to use the bigger brush, but I'm not going to do too big of an area because obviously you don't want to work too fast. It'll start to dry and then it's harder to get off. Um, I did a bunch more pigment, a lot more water, so it's very, very runny. Okay, and same thing, we'll do the edge. You don't want to get these rivets. Okay. 
It's okay if it gets on the white and clean it up. So dry brushing, you want to make it look like you want to sell that this is metal. So kind of think of how does this tell a story? People are, this is a trap bay that opens up and then gets closed. People are going to be rubbing on these, this edge to pick it back up and to hold it shut while it's being locked. So this is going to get hit a lot, rubbing on here if you're right-handed, possibly some over here for left-handed. Left-handed is actually less likely, so on the left, we're gonna make it even lighter. Some chipping in here, maybe someone dinged it reaching for this with a ring or a watch or something. So we'll have some in here, and then we'll really sell it on the handle, because that's gonna get rubbed a lot, but we wanna sell that it's metal. And so here's the trick. Get some on your brush, dab it off, and then basically get it all off. Okay. And once the brush is almost completely empty, then you come across the edging. You don't have to be even with it. Lovely. You don't want it consistent because think of where hands go. Almost heavier in the pattern of fingers. Kind of think of where a hand would go. A little heavier in certain areas. Helping you go heavy handed, make it look like a chip going through the brush strokes. Yeah. So you want to think where a hand where a hand's gonna pull on it. 
So thumbs are always going to wrap there, so wear down the top part. And then on this end, just a little bit, some people are just going to snap it like this, kind of palm it to the edge. And then the grinding of the, the lever on the inner walls of the opening. Bring down quite a bit. Just some more and try to think of mechanically how are these parts going to wear i mean out here nothing's really going to touch this but in here this is going to grind off that red paint rather quickly actually so we're going to do in there. probably use a much finer brush for this but having it seem like aggressive wear is fine. Ooh, big jump there. But that's how it goes. So that's gonna do it for the Ecto containment unit. It's weathered, it's done. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. It's been a lot of fun doing. Uh, your guys' comments week after week has been very inspiring uh, to continue and to modify things and make them better. Uh, so I hope you guys understand that level of community is really important. And please, if you guys do anything like this, tag me. I'd love to see different builds for props or just workshop infrastructure, anything like this. Let me know. I love hearing about that and talking shop, especially with other fans of series like this or just makers in general. So appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.